Hey everybody, and welcome back to the to video devlog number two for Gravity Ace. Uh, why is making video games so hard? Well, let me show you an example from Gravity Ace uh, and Godot Engine. Gravity Ace is a game about precision flying, difficult maneuvers, and blowing stuff up. Uh, and because shooting is such an important part of the game, I want to make sure that it feels good and it looks good. So, what's so tough about shooting? <laughs> well, like most effects in the game, it's not just one thing. There are multiple effects and mechanics all layered together into a delicious and satisfying game sandwich. So let's start by looking at the humble bullet. This tip is pretty simple, uh, but I see people missing it all the time. Basically it's this. Make the bullets bigger. That's it. I see a lot of games that use tiny bullets. Maybe they do it because bullets are tiny in real life. I don't know. The thing is this. Uh, bullets move fast, and if they're too small, then they become impossible to see. That makes it hard for the player to correct their aim, it makes it hard for the bullet to hit the target, it makes it hard for the player to tell if they hit or they missed. Um, I mean, just with a bigger bullet, you can use a bigger hitbox. So what if it's not realistic? It's a game. Bullets and Gravity Ace are about half the size of the player's ship. I mean, they're gigantic. Enemy bullets have a similar set of issues, but with enemy bullets, you want the player to be able to see them coming and for it to feel fair when the player gets hit. Uh, mine are about the same size as player bullets, so they're easy to see and easy to dodge. And the hitbox on enemy bullets is a bit smaller than the sprite. Ha! Huh. That's tricky, right? So that players can make these really cool, you know, close escapes. Uh, there's a particle system attached to each bullet. The particle system causes each bullet to emit little, you know, sparks in their wake. Uh, and those particles make the bullets look cool. And it gives them a, you know, a feeling of power like you're ripping through the fabric of space. Every bullet has a glow sprite attached to it. The glow is a simple texture. It's a circle with a soft edge. The color is modulated to match the particle system. And the blend mode is set to add so that it makes the bullet and things near it just get brighter. Uh, every bullet leaves a line trail behind it, just like the ones on the player's wingtips. It makes the bullets more visible. Uh, it gives them a real feeling of speed, too, like they're really moving. Uh, and each shot triggers a muzzle flash from the gun, and the muzzle flash has two components. The first component is a flash that shoots out perpendicular to the shot. It's like, you know, exhaust gas or smoke or something. Uh, you could do something similar by, like, ejecting shell casings, for example. And the second flash happens at the same time, and it's in line with the direction of the shot. The muzzle flash is a six-frame animation. Uh, it's got four variations, so it doesn't seem repetitive. It plays very fast, but the flashes give each shot some weight and impact, and it makes the bullets feel powerful. So that's the visual stuff. Now let's talk mechanics. First of all, if shooting feels good, then you should let the player do it a lot. Obviously, this is going to be different from, from uh, game to game, but in Gravity Ace, I want to let players put a lot of bullets in the air. Uh, so the gun is fully automatic, it has a high rate of fire, and the player has unlimited ammo. Each time you shoot a bullet, there's a slight amount of knockback. A small force is applied to the player in the opposite direction of each shot. You can actually fly the ship around this way. Uh, it's subtle, it's a, you know, a slight amount of knockback, but it helps the player really feel each shot. Uh, there's a little bit of screen shake added for each shot. Uh, literally, the camera shakes for every shot just a little for more impact. Just like the knockback, it gives the player the, the visceral feeling that something significant just happened every time they pull the trigger. Another layer is a screen space shader that adds a chromatic aberration effect. Uh, randomly, the red and blue channels on the entire screen are separated in opposite random directions. It looks like a, you know, like a visual glitch. It's like your bullets are so powerful that they're breaking your computer. Uh, finally, there's sound. Shooting needs a sound. Lots of different directions you can go here. Uh, for me, since the gun and gravity has fired so many bullets, I didn't want it to become repetitive or tiring, you know? So I created a sound that wasn't too overwhelming, something that felt balanced with the rest of the audio. 
the sound is also pitch shifted randomly for each shot to give it some variation. And I could go on and on because that's not totally the end of the story. Uh, bullets hit things and those things explode. Explosions have a similar story with lots of effects and sounds and mechanics all layered together. But maybe I'll talk about that another day. So that's bullets. This isn't quite a tutorial, but I did want to show you some concepts and tips. But if you do have specific implementation questions uh, and you use Godot Engine, uh, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will do my best to help. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tips or you just want to share your thoughts with me. You can also go to gravityace.com, try the beta, join the Discord server, hang out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.